celebrating 10 years of award-winning car talk. It's the In Wheel Time Car Show. Today coming to you from the Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise Inn at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy, Texas. Just ahead, another guest or two from today's Cruise Inn. Conrad will have his car clinic. We'll have this week's auto news, too. Howdy, along with Beetlejuice, <laughs> King Conrad DeLong. We need more Jeff Zekin. Chief Engineer David Ainsley, I'm mm. Don Armstrong. Beetlejuice is portrayed by Mike out of this world, Mars, this morning. So and I just there, wanted and, to. And there's a reason for it, but we haven't figured out what. <laughs> what? Oh, the shirt. Okay. Oh. He doesn't get out much. No, Apparently I, not. I've never watched. Never watched the movie. Are you? you why? Can't. I've never watched the movie. You like like it or what? You're off the know. team. <laughs> no kidding. That's it for you. Turn in your card. Okay, uh, Mr. Mars, we have uh, a relative. Not yours, <laughs> no, but no. Dad's relative. Yeah, you know, Dad was here a minute ago. Robert was here. So this is Chase. I messed it up last time. McKin Mac McElhaney. McElhaney. Yeah. McElhaney. It's the same company that makes Tabasco. Right. Well, that's what he said. He said it sounded like are that. You, are you guys akin to him? No, there's two L's and R and one in Tabasco. Okay. So. All right, all right. Almost. So, so he's with the Camaro Group, and he happens to have that second one in the row out there. The uh, 73, I guess it's primer, right? Yep. It right. just got right. primered. It okay. just got primered. Just, and yeah, was it primer. yellow before? Yes, it was it yellow. It was yellow. Okay. Because yeah. I saw that, uh, uh, yeah, it didn't quite get to the, the primer underneath the hood on the fenders. Right. Yeah. So you have that little smirk on your face like you've been called out. I didn't mean to do it that way. No, no, no. <laughs> just trying to do it the easy way. Well, let me right tell now. you something. You know, there's something to be said for a car like that because that that's how I grew up. My buddy, Ross Putnam, who we've had on this show before with the 55 Chevrolet, yeah, yeah. that's the way it was. It was like that. Right. It was a, it, a work in progress. So there's something to be said for that. I, I appreciate it. I like it. Yeah. I yeah. think we all have one in primer at oh, some yeah, point. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So I'm sorry to interrupt. So it's primer gray now. What's the plan for it? The, to go back yellow, okay. the original color. And the, the original, what, what was the was, it was sunfl safflower? Saffron uh. yellow? What was it called back then? You know, I'm not yellow <laughs> sure. It's I yellow. Never, there were two different yellows. It's the more pale yellow. See, yellow back then is the same yellow today. It'll be yellow tomorrow, too. Well, there was a saffron yellow, which is kind of a light tinted yellow, and then there's a brighter yellow. But you wouldn't know like anything sunflower about yellow. something bright. Yeah, sunflower yellow. <laughs> That's sunflower yellow. So tell us about the powertrain in it. At least my car it's runs. It's got a 406 small block. <laughs> okay. A turbo 400, 10 bolt. Pretty much it. It's a little plate on it. Oh, you, you, you a little just, plate. So. It, you, you just yeah. you just so understated everything. You know that. So don't how you? big are the scuba tanks in the back? Yeah, I just got one. Just it's, one. A, it's on 150 shot right now. So, so uh, and we're assuming that it's faster than Dad's. A little bit. Yeah. Now, what do you mean by that? A little bit. A little bit. You know. I mean, it's well, is it is it a lot? Is it a lot? Little bit. A good amount. A good, it's amount. A good amount. Okay. Faster, yeah. <laughs> Because you know that Dad's listening out there. He's going to yeah. go, you know, you really need to tone it down because you didn't beat me that bad. So yours with a turbo 400 versus his with a turbo 350. Right. And the turbo 400 didn't come with it, though, did it? No, it had the turbo 350. Uh, I had that rebuild at first. And, and broke then it. And sprayed the car and broke it. Broke it. So oh, yeah. went to the turbo 400, put a trans brake in it, and been holding up a little bit. So was it dad that was instrumental in you uh, getting into this hot rodding thing? Yeah. When I was about 14, uh, there's some industrial parts by our house. And we always heard, you know, cars doing burnouts and stuff. So we took the car over there one night and <laughs> just hung out you know, in. in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, the rest is history. Uh -huh. the rest is history. Yeah, yeah, we know about hanging out in yeah. the parking lot. Now, Mike, Mike's taking pictures of your vehicle out there right now. And he's going through the, the the side of it. And he gets to the rear quarter panel. There's all this rubber stuff. Yeah. Uh, on on the yep. back fender. What what's well, that? What's all that? About? What is that? Oh, he drives on a dirty road. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. You know, it it looks very similar to uh, uh, residue from burned up tires. <laughs> Could like be. the back of Erica Ender's yeah. Camaro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what kind of diff do you run in it? You said ten bolt, but what? Yeah, it's ratio? A ten bolt. It's got three seventy three gears. Okay. Okay. 373 and seems to be like the, that's the go-to gear ratio. Yeah, I would say it's a good in-between. I mean, it's it's not too fun on the highway, you know, but, it, you know. It 373s, on uh, that size tire, you're doing 
about 3,500 RPM at 70 miles an hour yeah. or more. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so. yeah, it's a little buzzy with yeah. headers at 3,500 yeah. RPM. Just turn the radio up. Yeah. Real so, loud. So have you gotten any tickets with it? No. What? No tickets. Surprisingly. Oh, well, it's because Dad's over there. <laughs> no, no tickets. I don't. Just been lucky, I guess. Well, good. well that's good. No, yeah. smart. Smart. And, you, and you've had it at the track? So, uh, yes. Do you, do you as well eighth mile it? Eighth mile and quarter, mainly eighth mile though. Okay. Where do you where do you go for a quarter mile track? Baytown. Yeah, Baytown. Well, what are you going to do after uh, the race in the spring when there is no more Baytown? No more quarter mile, I guess. Just run eighth. You know, the run up. Th- I know, then it can go to four eighty eights and make it quicker. Four eighty eights. That's it. <laughs> and and it's got an automatic transmission in it. Yeah, it's a manual valve body, turbo four. Okay. So, I mean, I have to shift it, but it's an automatic. Yeah. And you prefer that over a manual shifted car? Well, a, a manual transmission. Yeah. Why? I like the automatic shift in it. It's just. You can so when you, when it's more consistent with the automatic. I, yeah, I would yeah. say it's more consistent getting the car to hook and stuff. It, you know, it's a little it's, less driver error can happen right. and a little less damage yeah. can happen when that driver error takes place yeah right. so we'd like you well you over rev it yeah. when you well, miss a shift well, the other something. thing too is See, that's what I with the think. manual trans then you have all the extra expense of uh you know then you're gonna end up having to put a, you're gonna uh putting clutches in it from time to time and then you're gonna upgrade the clutch then you're gonna go to a dual disc clutch. you gotta have a scatter shield yeah. instead of a bell housing right, yeah, and, yeah, still right. your bell housing is right. probably yeah. is your do you have a uh reinforced bell housing on that no it's a stock bell housing. stock okay yeah. Do you have a do you have a drive line hoop on it? I do, I have one sitting in the shop. It's just not on the car yet. Yet. Not yet. Do the tracks not require that? No. Like not H- in that H- class. H- well, what's, you know, well, what what's your best number in a quarter? In a quarter, it's been eleven eighty. Dang, that's good. The cars to say because under ten a lot you need faster a cage now, now though. Yeah. Last time at HMP. Uh, I ran 7 on motor. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, on motor. A, on no, motor. Without yeah. spray. Yeah, that was without spray. Yeah. You're going to need all That's that safety quick. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Keep that up. You yeah. bet. Well, he's got a you got a four-point cage in it? It's an eight-point, actually. Oh, is it? I, I just saw the hoop yeah. when he drove yeah. by. I didn't see how it splayed out from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's eight-point. So it's it's ready for lots of power. Yeah, it's ready for it. It's, it's track ready. Are yeah. you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> he's more than ready. Are you yeah, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So are you still in school? No. no I've, uh, he quit two years ago. Electrician. Okay. okay. Electrician by yeah. trade. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. We we'll have to forget. Actually, it's a compliment. There wasn't anything negative about, yeah. you know, the question. So, yeah. you know, you get to my age and your eyesight fails and it, so does your brain and everything else at my age. So this is what you got to look forward yeah. to. Uh, you know, guys asking <laughs> stupid questions. Uh-huh. So do you kind of hang with the, this Camaro <laughs> Club? Yeah. And yeah, is yours one of the faster of the gr- of the group? It's one of the faster ones, yes. And you guys going to check it out on the way out? Nope. <laughs> no. Not not today. <laughs> I got I just got street tires on it, so it didn't do too well on street tires. Is, you can so how that, big a slick do you run when you run? 28, 10 and a half. 10 and a half, okay. Yeah. Um, do you find that? Challenging with a ten volt. It's it's left five grand off the trans brake. Has it really? Uh-huh. I mean, it's Eric at Lone Star built the built the rear end, so it's should it's, be sturdy it's enough. Held up good, yeah. Stout, I think, is the word. It's stout. And then, um, so what are what are the your your future plans for it? Make it faster. Well, it's always <laughs> always want to make it faster. Um, if something happens to this motor, I'll probably go to a big block. Probably what I'll do next. So you got a girlfriend that rides in there with you? Or? No, that's how I have the car. No girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> yeah. big, well, that's he, your he girlfriend. can afford the car. Yeah, go. the car is the girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So your dad tells us this story about how uh, his wife wanted that Camaro. I. I think it's a great story i'm not real sure how factual it is <laughs> it's, it's pretty factual. he's shaking it's, his head no it is the truth yeah but i've got one so are you a camaro fan because your dad you grew up with the camaro in the house yeah i liked him uh when i bought the car i was looking i wanted a fourth gen camaro that's what i wanted to get and i found that on craigslist and thought well 
I'll go look at it. You know, it looks to be in good shape. Went and looked at it and bought it. And was it straight? I mean, it did had didn't have been wrecked or anything. No, it hadn't been wrecked. The floor pans were rusted out. No interior. I mean, it. You know, it had the original motor and everything was original in it. But I mean, for the most part, the car was straight. I mean, it was it was a good car. The good starting point for what right. you wanted to do. Yeah. I've got a T-shirt that says, "The more I learn about women, the more I like my car." Yeah. Yeah. It's a rat fink shirt. Uh huh. Lessons, I'm lessons learned from the old guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. A lot of velocity stacks pulling in. Yeah, no kidding. Look at you the Cadillac that? Alante. I know. I wonder if the wreckers follow it a bit. Easy, <laughs> easy, Con. Hey, you know what? That one's running. That one has a key yeah. that turns. No, actually, I saw the guys. They pushed it from back there. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's just, just rolling on the original They're push. They're wearing Oldsmobile shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an Oldsmobile guy. Yeah. So. Ask him where his automobile is. Stuck home in the garage uh -huh. with a broke ignition switch I haven't fixed in six months. Probably longer, months? Than, si longer months? than six months. <coughs> Maybe years. <laughs> no, not years. It's been. It was out last year, but uh, just haven't taken the time to to work on it. And I get and I get grief about it every week. Oh heck yeah, you will. Life is good. Yep. So, um, curious, do you go to Autorama? No. Why not? Haven't been just. Haven't not been interested. No, nah, not really. Why? Just. Gosh. No, I. Just, I, just shut need up. To know. <laughs> not you just really. sit over there with your broken car and, and be oh, quiet for a second. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so so. Uh, I would say just not really my thing. I mean, it's. I'm into the cars, but. Not to show cars. Not to not to show cars. Well, I mean, there's uh, other well, things. has got a pretty diverse range yeah. of cars that show up. Some of them are. Trailer Queen show cars. Some of them yeah. are daily drivers that show up. Right. Um, so it, it's, it's a pretty good range of cars that will come out to Autorama. It, you know, if you get a chance and you want to come see some stuff. Let us know. know. Like us. Okay. We'll be there. Yeah. yeah. The, we're the old cars or the old guys. We're the old guys because there, there's, you know, cars like yours are there. I mean, it's always good to steal other guys' ideas. Yes. That's yeah. the way I always look at That's it. That's how you compliment them by taking those suggestions. Yeah, but you, yeah. you but you don't ever give them credit. No. <laughs> okay. I mean, that, that's a very important part of it. You know, get in trouble if you start giving other people credit. Am I right? Yep. Dad? Yep. Yeah. Dad's been, <laughs> haven't you? Autorama? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We're, It's we're, a Thanksgiving we're, tradition. Yep. And, and it really is a diverse field of vehicles that are in there. Yeah. And it changes every year. And they do different things. And right. And since we haven't had one in two years, it's uh, it ought to be really good. Right. And who are they having this year? Sting, the professional wrestler? That I don't he's, know. He's going to be the uh, star wrestling. Because uh, uh, Larry always brings in a couple of professional wrestlers to the show. Didn't they have the, the, the Daisy Duke girl last year or two years ago? I don't know. Yeah. You would know that. I kind of wasn't paying pay that much. close attention to it, Jeff. <laughs> Just wondered. It was two years ago or three years ago, two. they had the uh, bandit was there. That those that's guys. right. Bandit the guys from yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they, they were cool. Buford T. Justice. He was we there had, too. We had him on the he show. Was, they were. Out. He was the best. There's a lot of folks pulling in. Yeah. Nice. Good yeah, stuff. Everybody got up late this morning. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. No problem. We like your car. Thanks. I appreciate good, it. Good luck to you. Good and, story. Uh, yeah. Good. Great story. Appreciate so we it. hope to run into you again. Come yep. and see us again. And, yeah. And Always you, stay faster than dad. And you don't yeah. have to. <laughs> you don't have to tell anybody that you were on this show or that you even know us. It's okay. Yeah. We we get it. We know. Been there, done that. We're gonna delete it from your memory. Yeah. Flash. <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, what's next, Mr. Armstrong? Well, um, it's going to be Conrad's car clinic. But I did want to remind everybody that we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is shoot us an email. Mm -hmm. That would be info at inwheeltime.com. You can get a hold of us that way pretty much 24-7. Not that we would answer you right back if you emailed us at 3 a.m., <laughs> but... You would. I, I probably <laughs> would because I up. can't yeah, sleep. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's that. All right, so uh, time now for Conrad's Car Clinic. What do we clinicking today well we're going to talk <laughs> yeah. about uh air conditioning systems you know as well, this is a perfect time for that in a day uh, like today uh, thank you 
as of January 1st, 2021, the United States EPA mandated that all passenger cars and light-duty trucks coming off assembly lines had to have R1234YF as their refrigerant system. Wait a minute. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, YF. Don't ask me what the YF stands for. Your fill in the blank. Yeah, I was going to say, you can figure that out. Let's go, Brandon. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, many OEMs had begun doing this previous previous to 2021. Cadillac's had uh, one, two, three, four, YF since 2015. Mercedes has as well uh, had it in, I want to say since 17. So it's not like it's new. The well, mi- what the hell is it? It's more prevalent now. No, what, I mean, what is it? So is, is it? It's not Freon anymore? No, no, no. It, well, no, not at all. So well, what is it? It's, it's probably a little bit more closer to if you, if you broke it down to a propane. Okay. So. Um, well, don't. The, uh, they, something tells me that they, they use propane in some sort of. Uh, refrigerant systems yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, they do. Uh, but it's not flammable like propane. So I got some it. Differences. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, the change uh, in everything had to do with concerns from the environmental impact uh, of all of the refrigerants. You know, if you think years ago we used R12 and that was supposed to create the hole in the ozone. Yeah, the PCBs and all that. And, and whether it did or didn't is dis- debatable. So they switched to R134A and R134A came out in the late 90s. Mm-hmm early 2000s, and everything had to have it. We've had that for quite some time. You couldn't mix R134A and R12. The R12 systems generally, like my car, my 70, has R12 in it, and it's got a four-pound refrigerant system. When they switched to R134A, the compressors had to become bigger, the condenser had to become bigger, but the amount of refrigerant went down to under two pounds. So now they've come out with this uh, one, two, three, four YF, and again the compressors had to be a little bit stronger, the condensers had to be a little bit stronger, and now you're talking about a refrigerant system that probably holds less than one pound of refrigerant. Wow! Um, which means if it leaked, it would it would it would degrade its operation uh, real fast. Yeah. The, but one of the things that they changed with uh, one, two, three, four YF is they have double captured seals on everything. Up until this point, generally an AC system had one O-ring on it at each hose connection. Now they put two O-rings on it at each hose connection. Because it can denigrate so quickly, they don't want it to to leak out. And this refrigerant is a little bit more caustic than the uh, uh, 134A or the R12. uh, But it is much safer on the environment. Um, it's, It's got a higher reactivity. Um, uh, which is part of why it's so friendly to the environment, which means that it degrades faster uh, when it's exposed to the atmosphere. Um, Where R134A remains stable over decades, uh, and that was the problem with it, is that that that, uh, the refrigerant would continue to do damage over time. Uh, newer systems have very small capacities and are much less prone to leakage. The newer systems require newer equipment to service them. So if you're driving a newer car that has this, uh, not all the shops are going to have the equipment to service right. one, two, three, four YF. So they have to have. In, in what year model did it start in? Fifteen in Cadillacs. Yeah. Okay. And then, right. then kind of rolled in. Yeah, absolutely. Very, now it's across the board. Now it's everybody has to have it okay. as of 2021. Yeah. Right. Because when you do a, when you do an R and R on that, you've got to contain all that Correct. old stuff and then dispose of it properly. So they have uh, recovery machines, right. That will extract out the refrigerant, hold it, weigh it, put it back into the system, and weigh it as it goes back in the system, and and filter it, and and put fresh oil in it. Love on it. And, yeah. and put some love on it. Well. High-level shops are going to have an R134 system, and they're going to have to have a, a 1234YF system because you can't mix the two of them whatsoever. Um, the other, one of the other things that happens is, uh, you know, the older refrigerants, R12 and R134A, you would run a, um, uh, a dye in the oil, right. and that dye in the oil would give you uh, – leave basically a witness mark under a black light right. as to where the leak, leak was. Is. A witness mark. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, it. Leaves a, leaves a spot. A spray. Like kind of like you do, Don, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, leaves. that's what I was going for. 
No. And uh, but doesn't take much anymore. But the new refrigerant, the uh, dyes Are uh, degrade. It. No, no, they degrade the refrigerant because oh. the dye generally comes into the oil through the oil. And the new refrigerant requires a very specific oil. I've got so many and, questions. And dyes in the oil just don't mix. It so degrades, the, you degrades can, the system. Can you still get the R12? You can still get R12. They're not manufacturing R12, so you're buying it from somebody who has a store. New, new old stock. Right. Okay. What is the cost of this new Freon, this new technology Freon? 120 to $150 a, a pound. pound. A pound. But okay. you, don't, you don't even use a pound of it. No. But R12, even though I used four pounds of it uh, last, and I, I've recently bought some because I needed some for the. Uh, what is it? Five thousand dollars a pound? No, it was uh, twenty dollars a pound. Twenty dollars yeah. a pound. Now, back back in my days when I was with wow. a wholesale distributor, uh, they would promote and put these things on sale for like one eighty nine for a three pound right, right, container right. for the shop. Now you can still get the R12. You said and cost there. Do you need a different type of sniffer when it leaks? Like you oh, can put yeah, a sniffer sure. on that. Well. The, um, uh, they have a, an electronic leak detector, which right. is what most everybody goes sniffer, to. Sniffer, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it, it requires a leak detector that knows which product it's sniffing. Okay. So the, the, same, uh, the same device that would smell uh, R12 isn't going to smell 134. Uh, one, so uh, that's nothing like a Dutch oven or anything? Nothing, no. no. Or nothing so, like Don's shoes. So like a 2002 vehicle I know about Dutch ovens. that needed some air conditioning work on it. Would they literally? Would you have to upgrade that system? No, you could still buy R one thirty four A, but on the uh, on the uh, <laughs> older systems like my like my rally with the that was made for R twelve. A lot of people have updated their systems of their older cars to the R one thirty four A. It always requires a condenser change. On my car, it had that big old A six compressor. Right, as more than enough compressor. Huge. Yeah. Well, we saw some of those when we were down at the Waterfront Grill. Yes, some the, right. Yeah, some of the big ones. So, um, but you, you have to put a big condenser in it because what the condenser is, it changes the uh, gas back to a liquid uh, in the refrigerant system. So how refrigerant systems work, to make it simple, is they take whatever product it is and they spray a liquid into a vapor. And that vapor is cold, mm -hmm. colder than the liquid. Kind of like, you know, if you've ever looked at uh, uh, some of the bars outside, they have these water misters there. Right. That's a refrigerant system. You know, it might change the temperature a couple of degrees. Yeah. So they have learned through the years. And make me what, wetter than I already am. What products um, change the temperature enough to have a pretty big impact. So you're looking at the 1234YF. Like I said, it's chemically not far from propane it's just not as flammable as propane propane and propane products in propane products but that that uh the pressure differential that temperature drop is about 48 49 degrees so it's, it's cool. huge it's interesting you yeah. have to be real careful yeah. with that because in those dutch oven things man that thing oh will go boom i'm glad i'm not on camera <laughs> <laughs> i'm not real sure where that's going to go and i'm not know. going to ask so I'm Make just, sure I'm just taking bringing, it all in. Making so to sure speak. if you're bringing your vehicle into a, into a shop to get it worked on, that they understand what type of refrigerant you use, and ask them, do they have new equipment to service the newer cars? Mars, there's a test on this. Are you ready to uh, answer uh, all the questions I'm, on the I'm, test? I'm taking notes over Are here. Are you? So what have you got down there on those? <laughs> Dutch it. oven, Dutch like, oven. I wetter. Need to get a, I need to get stains. another guest so I can shut Conrad up. And I got R one two three A B C D E F. No, R one two three four. Oh. Y F. How could you forget Y F? That, I mean, that, there's so much meaning in that. I, I understand. That's Let's, go, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Everybody in the parking lot. Right. I'm three. Ready? One, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go, Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Very uh, good. Uh, I have a couple of stories that I wanted to try to get in before the top of the hour, if that's okay. Sure. I tried to give you time, but not much. <laughs> Speaking of uh, pressure, uh, brake pressure modulator valve may short, what? and uh, it's being recalled uh, for the Chevrolet Silverado 2500, 3500, and Sierra 2500, 3500 from the 21 to 22 model years. The park position lights are too bright. <laughs> <laughs> on the Cadillac CT6 from 2016 to 2017. That's okay. That's not what a problem. The, what is that's, that? That's it's too bright. No, no. I, 
No, well, that, that's I, a misprint. I would, th I would say if, if you bought a CT6, you might not have been bright in the first place. Oh, come place. on, Conrad. That's twice. <laughs> I, I like that car, though. I, I really like that CT6. The Ford Ranger from 2020 to 2021 uh, is being recalled because the child's seat may not attach properly. How about the Volvo S60 and S80 from 2001 to 2009? Driver's airbag inflator may explode. Thank you, Chicago. Pinhole in the tire sidewall on the Honda Odyssey for 2022. All these are recalls, by the way. Passenger airbag may not deploy or deploy improperly on the Ford Bronco for 2021. That's a brand new car. It's the one you were driving. Driver's front airbag may not deploy properly on the Mercedes Benz GLS 580 for the model year 2020. And so uh, those are the recalls that I have for this week so far. Um, one story, J.D. Power used vehicle price index was up 35% over yeah. the same nine-month period of 2020. Yeah, wow. yeah. Time to trade your used car in. No. No. no just I, sell it. Don't be trading in because no. that means you've got to buy something else. Well, unless used, you have according to J.D. Driver. Power, used prices are expected to remain, quote, unquote, very strong for the foreseeable future with fluctuations up and down as the new market continues to work towards recovery. Because there's Didn't no say, inventory. Correct. Are and there it's, any? It's going to be at least. Uh, my guess is next summer yeah. before there starts to be starts to be inventory again. You know they're they're taking catalytic converters. Do you think they'd be taking chips out? Just take the chips out and sell the chips. Well, yeah, as opposed to catalytic converters. Or come we'll, to Lupe Tortillas for lunch, and they'll give you free chips and, and salsa. salsa. There you go. Ford Mustang 5-liter GT snagged the top spot in an annual automotive index that measures the amount of U.S. manufactured content in vehicles. Everybody's always doing something, right? Here's one. So uh, this Mustangs is the, are made in America. This is the second consecutive year a Ford Motor Company model has topped the Kogod Made in America Auto Index. The Mustang contains nearly 89% domestic content, wow. according to the index. For comparison, the 10th ranked vehicle contains 76% domestic content. The Chevrolet Corvette placed second. The Tesla Model 3 placed third. And the Ford Bronco placed fourth. So if you're by America, there you go. Those are the cars to get. Yankee Doodle. Dandy. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Quick break now. You're on the In Wheel Time Car Show. We'll be back right after this. We all know about aftermarket and online parts stores, and each one has something to offer, but they don't offer original factory parts. That's where Bayway comes in. For original factory parts, visit the Bayway stores first. Give them a call or stop by. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Bayway Chevy, and Bayway Lincoln carry a complete line of parts for the do-it-yourselfer. Keeping your newer classic original means a lot, and you can count on these fully stocked parts departments to help keep it that way. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Bayway Chevy, and Bayway Lincoln, keeping it original. Hey, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this event that we're at today, coming to you live from the Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise Inn. It is Houston's premier monthly car cruise inn, and it happens at two Lupe Tortilla Mexican restaurants once a month here in Katy and inside the Loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Tailpipes and Tacos is free. Everyone is invited. You could cruise your car here, or if you don't have a car to cruise, Come on out. Take a look at the cars. Talk to the people that own them. I think that you'll uh, find something that you'll really enjoy. You'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods at these two locations. Cars from all over southeast Texas cruise in and show off at a friends and family event at the Lupe Tortilla Mexican Restaurant on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland, where we are right now, uh, just south of I-10 and Katy, and inside the loop on the southwest freeway near Kirby. Drag racer, car enthusiast, and loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in. And it's true. Tailpipes and tacos. Inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby and here in Katy on the Grand Parkway just south of I-10. In Wheel Time Car Show is involved, and we hope that you'll be sure and stop by and say hello to us when you get here. Get your ride ready, and we'll see you at the next Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise in the third Saturday of every month, weather permitting. Gulf Coast Auto Shield has moved to a more convenient location. Now you can visit John Gray and his staff of dedicated professionals at their new shop on the South Sam Houston Parkway between Belford and Airport in Southwest Houston. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is the best at paint correction and ceramic coatings. 
Clear bras and custom wraps are specialties that only Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs with award-winning accuracy. And all their services come with a warranty. Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Porsche, and Ferrari owners depend on Gulf Coast Auto Shield for their specialty services, and you should too. The in-wheel time Corvette and Cutlass have both been massaged by Gulf Coast Auto Shield, so isn't it time your vehicle visit their new shop in southwest Houston? Call John Gray today at 832-930-5655 or visit online at gcautoshield.com. That's gcautoshield.com. Paint, coatings, wraps, and more at gcautoshield.com. <music> 